Commit to authentic living. Let me tell you, I don't always look like the cover of this book every day, but I am the woman inside of the pages of this book every day. As I mentioned, writing Choosing Faith Over Fear was really a step of vulnerability, of sharing myself with everyone who wanted to read this book. But what I have found in this, this act of vulnerability and committing myself to authentic living is that I literally removed the mask, the facade of being perfect, that everything had to be well packaged and fit together. And it feels so freeing. It's just like I am liberated to be myself in so many different spaces. And one thing that audiences rave about when I do the Faith Over Fear signature keynote is my ability to be vulnerable. I can't tell you how many deep connections I have had with individuals after speaking, telling me things that they have never even shared out loud before. One of the biggest steps as a leader is to have this sense of vulnerability, to be human, to be authentic. And that is something that I have challenged myself to do since I released this book. I mean, I felt like I put it all out there, but it was really a daily choice to say, no, I take off the mask. I choose to be myself. I choose to have my flaws and my broken pieces and my past failures, but I also choose to show my heart and be who I truly am. It's liberating. I encourage you to try it. Put down your mask today. Commit to being your authentic self and experience life fully. Have a great day.